We got pretty lucky with our solar system. We have almost every type of planet covered, from worlds vibrant and water-rich, to some desolate and dead. But luckily for us, there is one type of planet that we don't have. When gas giants orbit too close to their star, sometimes the hydrogen and helium from its layers can evaporate away in a process called hydrodynamic escape. The result of this ends up leaving behind its small, rocky core to orbit in its place. The gas giant transforms into a world similar in mass and size to Earth. They're almost like the neutron stars of planets, being the remnant core of a lost world, and are known as Thonian planets. Thonian planets are entirely theoretical. We've never actually seen one, or at least confirmed one yet. We do have a few planets we've already found that are possibly Thonian planets, but we can't be sure yet. Two of these planets are Kepler 70b and c. They are sub-Earth planets that orbit extremely close to their star. They orbit so close in fact, that they are not only the closest orbiting objects we've found, but Kepler 70b is the hottest planet we've found to date, with a surface temperature of 13,000 degrees Fahrenheit. These are thought to be two gas giants that fell in towards their host star, which just ended its red giant phase. It was during this phase that these planets are thought to have had their gas stripped away and became Thonian planets. One of the most interesting aspects of these types of worlds is the theory of habitability. If one of these planets ends up around a stable star, in its habitable zone, then life could possibly develop. Or, even more interestingly, if us humans are ever to develop interstellar travel and colonization, then one of these planets would be a great candidate for us to colonize, because a planet around a stable star could exist for millions or billions of years. Fascinating objects like Thonian planets are what makes us love space here at Universally Squared. There is so much out there beyond our visual horizon that we are just now discovering. And to be in a time that we can learn and understand the universe on this type of scale is simply amazing.